Hey guys, Ivan here, and we got some really interesting news. Keon Peterson just won the 212 Mr. Olympia title. It's crazy, I know. Before the Mr. Olympia, before this guy stepped on the stage, I thought he was gonna be somewhere like third, fourth, maybe. When they stepped on the stage, I realized that yeah, he's definitely challenging Sean Clarita, he's in the top two, but I thought Sean was still winning. On the live stream, I wasn't so sure, I thought it could go either way, which is basically what I said in my previous video about this, but after, after I made a video, I saw some different photos, and I thought Sean was just so much better, like so much more muscular in almost every area, he had so much more density, so much more maturity, even conditioning, he was just better in every area except for the structure. And I thought the judges won't really care that much about that. They would give it to the more muscular guy, more conditioned guy, more grainy, more, more dense guy. And take a look at these photos, for example. So here you can see, like, in every single pose, uh, Sean Clarita is, like, more dense. Look at the legs here, for example, the chest especially. Look at the back, the, the entire back, the glutes and the hamstrings. Uh, same thing in the back lat spread, like, so much more meat, so much more bubbliness in the back. Uh, side tricep also a lot more density through shoulders, arms and chest and legs, side leg, look at it here, basically the same pose, Sean is just more muscular, more dense everywhere, most muscular, same story, look at the chest, look at the quads, in the side chest though, Sean was losing some ground, uh, Keon just seemed bigger because he is taller, he has a bigger frame, I found some footage from a fan in the audience, it wasn't from a live stream, so as you can see right here, like the density, the conditioning, the, the, the muscularity, Sean pretty much beats Keon in every single pose, but Keon beats Sean with his structure, with his skeletal structure, with his symmetry, with his balance, with his proportions, he just flows really, really well. And also he's taller, he's bigger, and also there is that one thing that Sean's leg, that one leg, left leg, is just much bigger than the right one, and it really throws off the balance of his physique, if you ask me, and maybe the judges punished him for it. Keon wasn't perfect either, his midsection is not the prettiest thing to look at, but everything else is just really super aesthetic. Look at the back shot. I was honestly really surprised when they said Keon's name. I was really expecting that to be... Sean's name, I thought we're gonna hear still uh, the 212 champion, but yeah, I guess we have a new 212 Mr. Olympia champion. I don't want to take anything away from Keenan, I can see why he won this, but I wouldn't judge it this way, no. I mean, I wasn't there in person, maybe it was different, but I mean, I don't know, like like the density, the, the, the sheer muscularity of Sean Clarita, for me it was just overwhelming, I mean, compare this. I mean, Keon is amazing, Keon is great, but, I mean, Sean, I was watching the Poison routine and I became, like, really big fan of Sean Clarita before he, he lost this. I thought, wow, this was just amazing. I wasn't as impressed with Keon. That's what I'm trying to say, and I can see once again, I definitely, I'm not disagreeing with the decision. Well, maybe I am a little. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> I didn't see it this way. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe when I see some higher quality photos, maybe I'll figure it out. I mean, again, the structure was better, but it wasn't enough for me in my book. But whatever the judges thought, it was a decision. And you have a new 212 Mr. Olympic champion, Keon Pearson. And I'm pretty sure he's going to reign for as long as he wants to. And I kind of have an impression that Sean Clarida might retire soon. Maybe he won't compete again. I've seen what his cycles are looking like, and he's not taking it easy, so, and he's been doing this for a long, long time, recently he became a father, so he probably doesn't want to risk it for no reason, and Keon, I saw his cycles as well, and he is going really mild, you would be surprised, so this guy is young and fresh, and he's gonna make so much more progress over the years, then I'm pretty sure sometime soon he's gonna go, he's gonna switch to the, to the Open, like Derek did. But I guess he's gonna win a couple of more, maybe like three titles, and then he's gonna go to the Open. And I feel like that's the division for him. I mean, he, he, he dominated the classic physique naturally, as he says, but I believe him, because once he officially jumped on gear, he made so much more gains, and in the 212, he already became the champion. So, yeah, I mean, he should probably win it once or twice because he has more weight. As far as I know, he can grow even more and stay in the 212. I think he's like 205, 206, something like that. 
I'm not sure exactly right now, but that was the number I think last year. So he's probably gonna gain those six pounds uh, by next year, and maybe year after that he's gonna suffer down and make the weight somehow, and then the year after he's probably just gonna have to move to the open, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna do really well in the open. I mean, he just beat Angel Calderon and Sean Clarida, who both won open shows. So yeah, yeah, that that means something. I also gotta congratulate Patrick Tour. We had a bet. I said that Keon is gonna be out of top two, but I lost the bet he wanted. And he proved that he's an amazing coach, really. And so once again, our new 212 Mr. Olympia champion, Keon Pearson. We are only a couple of hours away from the open division prejudging, and Hardy just posted this on his Instagram. I don't know when this was taken, but take a look at what his physique looks like right now. And damn, this is pretty freaky. This is really impressive. Now, I was basing my prediction on the expectation that Hadi is not gonna be at his 100%. That he was gonna, I don't know, lose something. I thought maybe his arms are gonna be smaller. Maybe his shoulders are gonna look weirder. Maybe something like that is gonna happen with age. I'm well aware that he's not over 40, he's like 36, 37, but I mean, that's not super young, there are much younger guys like Derek Lansford, who is like 30, uh, but I also know that Hadi has been doing this bodybuilding game for a long, long time, so I thought maybe finally he's gonna, he's gonna look worse on stage, but no, no, I was wrong, it's not gonna happen this year, if this is recent, and I believe it is recent, he looks probably freakier than ever. Look at the freaking density in that chest. God, and look at the look at the legs. Look at the fullness in the legs and the condition that he's bringing. Now, obviously, this was taken in a gym, so this was probably days, maybe like a week or two before the Mr. Olympia. So I'm expecting him to be much drier and potentially fuller and bigger on the stage. And if that happens, and I'm sure it will. I don't know if they can dethrone him, I don't know at this point, I mean, I thought he was not gonna be at his best, but it seems like he's even better than before, it seems like Hari wants to stay at the top, it seems like he's hungry still, and the way he looks right now, I mean, this is ridiculous, this is, this is really crazy, I mean, who has this kind of maturity, these kind of details, this kind of hardness, I mean, these Iranian guys have this kind of look, but how they really emphasize that to do the maximum point. Like, it doesn't get any, any freakier than this. This is just ridiculous. So I can't wait. I mean, there are only a couple of hours left. I can't wait to see him finally peaked on the stage and to see what he's bringing and whether he's going to stay the champion or not. I still think there is a big chance that Derek or Samson can beat him, but I gotta say once again, he looks insane right here. Yeah, we also got a physique update of Roman Fritz from today. Now, this guy competed so many times this year, I don't know if he can really peak for this show. If he does, I mean, I don't think anybody expects him to be in the top 10. If he cracked the top 10, I would be happier more than if Samson won the show. But I don't think that's gonna happen, it's gonna be really hard. I mean, there were 26 guys, actually 24 guys qualified, 6 were not gonna compete, now without Nick there are only 17 guys left. And if Roman doesn't place last, that would be really awesome. If he can beat somebody like Justin Shire, maybe Charles Griffin, that would be really cool. And that's because Roman is so passionate about bodybuilding, like he's telling us everything he's doing, and we, we watched his journey, uh, the way he finally figured out how to bring fullness, how to come in big, he always brings crazy conditioning, he trains twice a day, he eats enormous amounts of food, and that's why he's so, he's so interesting to follow, now, he's doing the Mr. Olympia for the first time in his life, how well will he do, once again, I hope he's gonna crack that top 15, I would love to see that happen. And we also got another physique update of Terence Ruffin. And this guy is competing tomorrow and I don't know what to say, man. I know I'm changing my opinion very often, but I have to. When I see these guys looking crazy like this, I mean, I have to say something. And this, this to me looks like a top two, top three material. And he was at the top already. He was second at the Mr. Olympia. He won the Arnold Classic. And I think the way he looks right now, I think he's climbing back up. I don't think he's going to be sixth again. I know that he doesn't have the biggest frame, that he's a shorter guy, but with his conditioning, with this classic shape, with this look that he brings, 
Yeah, with his posing also, very very important to say, he is the best poser in Classic Physique Division. With all that considered, I don't know, like, top 3 if you ask me. I don't think he's gonna place lower than that. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for more stuff like this. Subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.